Alrighty, what is up guys, Vanoss here, and welcome to my 100k special Q&A video, and uh, before I get started with the questions, I just want to say thank you guys so much for hitting 100k subs again, um, it really is a big deal, it's a huge accomplishment, so thank you so much for the support, and uh, hopefully you guys do enjoy this video, you know, hopefully you learn a lot about me in this Q&A, and if you guys do like it enough, maybe I could do this a little more often on a regular basis, but of course that's up to you guys, so let me know in the comments section if you want that to happen, but uh, anyways, let's get started here with the first question, and this comes from a guy named Dirt and he asked will you do a vlog so uh, I've always wanted to do vlogs it's something that I had in mind just because I think it's a really cool way for you guys to learn more about me and for me to show you guys obviously some real life stuff but uh, I'm not really planning to do it soon just because I'm in school I'm really busy and I don't have a video camera yet so uh, maybe I'll do all the stuff you know face reveal all that stuff during the summer but uh, for now I'm not too sure when it's gonna happen but I definitely want to plan to do it Alrighty, next question comes from a guy named Swagginator24, and that's a bitchin' name there, sir. Uh, but anyways, he asks, how did you meet Wildcat? So I met Wildcat when I first started YouTube, so about a year and a half ago, and I was trying to find channels around my size, which was about 30 subscribers at the time, and uh, I found his channel, you know, I saw some of his videos, some of his commentaries, and uh, I just decided to message him up. I was like, yo, dude, we should totally play together, you know, we should work on videos, and he was like, yeah, man, we should totally do that. Then we started playing, you know, we hooked up, not in that way, get your mind out of the gutter, <laughs> and uh, we, uh, yeah, we've been playing ever since, and obviously he's a really funny guy, and I think you guys should subscribe to him if you haven't already. Um, he's in a lot of my videos. But uh, yeah, that's pretty much the story behind Wildcat. All right, next question here comes from Hardcore Gamer 77 and he asks, are you going to play hockey again? And uh, if you guys don't know, in my first Q&A, I talked about how I've been playing hockey my whole life, and this is my very first year not playing competitive. So uh, I'm still playing hockey, I'm just playing intramurals just for fun. At most, I'm playing once a week. And uh, I definitely want to be playing hockey for the rest of my life, regardless if it's, you know, once a week, twice a week. It doesn't really matter. As long as I'm playing, uh, that's good enough for me. And uh, yeah, so I'm pretty much going to be playing beer leagues for the rest of my life. But uh, before I get to the next question here, I just want to show you guys one quick highlight clip of uh, me getting a pretty dirty goal in hockey. I showed you guys one in my last Q&A, so I thought I'd show you guys another one in this one. And uh, this is from last season. I have a bunch of these saved up on my computer, and if you guys want to see more of them, just let me know. Um, I'll probably end up showing you guys more of this stuff in the future. But uh, anyways, let's move on to the next question here. And uh, this comes from George Fisher, and he asks, how do you record from Xbox? So uh, the way I record gameplay is with the Elgato Game Capture HD. And uh, that thing's boss. I love it to death. It's super easy to use. And I'm not sponsored by them or anything like that. I just really like it. So if you guys are looking for a game capture, I recommend getting the Elgato because it's the best one out there as far as I'm concerned. All right, next question here comes from Mr. Commander Troll, and he asks, if you woke up with a dyslexic pig nibbling on your center testicle, what would be your immediate reaction? So uh, what my immediate reaction would be is that I would be super freaked out at the fact that I have three testicles, because in order to have a center testicle, you have to have three. What the fuck, man? What kind of question is that? All right, next question here comes from a guy named Glocks Pikey, and he asks, are you a virgin? And uh, no, I'm not. Uh, I think this was a pretty funny question because I saw it a lot in the comment section and I knew it was one of those popular questions that everybody always asks commentators and I looked at it I was like if I don't answer this people are just gonna assume that the answer to that question is yes so I'm gonna have to put in my Q&A so uh, there you go uh, all right next question here comes from arm dog 901 and he asked um, what NHL players have you played with so uh, the two NHL players that I played with that you guys will definitely recognize are Tyler Sagan and uh, Jeff Skinner so I didn't play with them or on the same team I played against them all my minor hockey career because we were in the same league and uh, they were definitely amazing players always ahead of the game and obviously they're in the NHL now and are doing really well so it's just kind of like a cool thing to see them and be like hey I played with those guys you know when I see them on TV but uh, they were definitely really really good players and uh, like I said just totally above everybody's level all right next question here comes from a guy named Wahabble. that's an awesome name sir Wahabble. Uh, he asks have you ever thought of making an intro and uh, yes I have I mean intros are awesome but I would like mine to be short sweet to the point and not too cheesy and that's pretty difficult to think of I don't really have an idea but if you guys have any ideas for an intro let me know you know leave a comment uh, message me send me a tweet and I'll take a look but, uh, you know, I don't think intros are that important, so for now, I don't have an intro, and it's not really a big deal. 
All right, next question here comes from a guy named Jeremy 5000 I, and he asked, do you smoke marijuana or have you ever? And uh, I've tried it before, like most people, but it's not something that I do just because I'm not into the whole smoking thing. But I'll tell you one thing, when I did try it, it was during my after prom and it was the funniest thing ever. Uh, me and my friend ripped the bowl, then we started making hamburgers, and for no reason, we just started laughing for like a half an hour straight. His laugh would make me laugh, and my laugh would make him laugh, and it was just a never ending cycle. And it was just completely retarded because people would just be staring at us, just laughing at nothing, making hamburgers. It was definitely a good time, but uh, like I said, it's not something that I do uh, just because I'm not into smoking. All right, next question here comes from a guy named 67NHGHFG678, another freaking epic name, and uh, he asked, what are you studying? So in school right now or in university, I'm studying economics, and uh, the reason why is because I'm just interested in anything that has to do with business, you know, starting your own business, uh, learning about investing your money, that interests me. But uh, like most people, I don't know what I want to do career-wise yet. You know, we're just freaking robots going to class every day, and uh, yeah, I'm in the same boat. But uh, I do want to find something that I'm passionate about. That's one huge goal in my life is to do something as a career that I really enjoy. And I haven't found that yet, but I'm determined to find it. And uh, of course, YouTube's kind of a really cool opportunity to do as a side job. And who knows, maybe it could turn into a career. I'm obviously going to keep at it, but I'm always going to also have a school background. And that would have to do with business or economics. Alrighty, next question here comes from Mr. Darkness 115 and he asks, what does Vanoss mean and why did you choose it? So uh, the name Vanoss, it's a really, really random story. I must warn you before I start it. So basically what happened is my dad bought a PS3 back in the day and this is before I played console or anything like that. And uh, he just wanted to get it for the Blu-ray player. And he ended up making an account just because I think he wanted to sign up for a few things. And he called it Vanoss 62. And the word Vanoss had to do with some type of BMW engine or something like that because he's just really obsessed with cars. And uh, I started using his account to play games and people started calling me Vanoss. I got used to the name and then of course when I eventually moved over to Xbox and started a YouTube channel, I just decided to keep the name Vanoss, take out the numbers, and uh, yeah, that's what I have now. And I always knew it was going to be something original because it was really fucking random, first of all. But it wasn't, you know, based off any particular name or any particular word. It was just Vanoss. Like, what the hell is that? So I thought it was kind of cool. And uh, it's kind of funny now because there's a lot of people that can't pronounce it. You know, people call me Vanus, Vanoss. You know, Venus, I've been getting a lot of funny pronunciations in my videos, and I'm sure you guys have seen them. But uh, I think it's comical. I love it. I think it's hilarious when people can't get my name right. But uh, if you guys didn't know or if you guys are new to this channel, obviously my name is pronounced Vanoss. And if you guys screwed it up once or twice, it's no hard feelings because pretty much everybody does. Alrighty, last question here comes from a guy named Metal Forever 93 and this is actually a Twitter question, so thank you for following me on Twitter. And he asks, what do you consider to be the biggest accomplishment in your life? So uh, there's not a lot of crazy accomplishments, you know, there's always those minor ones like winning small awards here and there. But uh, one that definitely stood out was when I was 10 years old, I actually won a hockey skills competition between all the players my age in Ontario. And uh, the prize for that was really cool. I got to skate with the Toronto Maple Leafs during their skills competition as part of fan appreciation night. And I was playing in front of 18,000 people on TV. So it was super crazy, but obviously it's not a big deal now because I was only 10 years old and it was a long time ago. But it was a big deal back then, and it was a really awesome experience. You know, I got to meet some of the players. I got to see their dressing room. So it was really insane and obviously something that I'll never forget. And another really big accomplishment is, of course, hitting 100k subscribers. And there's a lot of people out there that will tell me that it's not a big deal. It's just YouTube. It's just, you know, video games. But for me, it's a big deal. If I'm doing something that I enjoy, that I'm passionate about, and I'm able to hit a milestone like that, that's a huge accomplishment in my books. And I'm just super proud with where I am today with this YouTube channel. And like I always say, it's thanks to you guys for all your support. But uh, that's pretty much it for the Q&A. I want to wrap it up here because I don't want to keep you guys here too long before you guys fall asleep. But hope you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys learned a lot about me. And if you guys want to see more of this stuff, just let me know. You know, leave it in the comment section. Maybe leave this video a thumbs up. And uh, just let me know. But I hope you guys have a great day. And I will see you guys soon. Peace. Yeah, cause I got it like that. Flow so smooth like I got it on tap. Yeah, and I'ma say it be a good night while I'm on my yingling. While I'm drinking Bud Light. Uh, can you get...